Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I am inviting you to my relationship class on Wednesday this week. I'm going to cover um, more information, but adding in some information such as attention seekers, or some people call them attention whores. Well, these individuals that have these disorders fall in um, a category of cluster call um, histrionic or personality um, disorders and um, such as, well, some of these people may be individuals you came into contact with. They may have showed up with narcissistic traits. Um, even if you uh, didn't pay attention to the fact that they were demonstrating some type of behavior or emotion or um, that you may have thought they had some type of mental disorder. The fact or the matter is, is that people that move around and they can't keep friends or relationships, um, they may keep a job um, or they may keep one or the other, but they're not able to actually stay in a commitment. So the job would be because their focus is only on them and the money. So 90% of the time, you're going to find that these people are um, people that are moving from place to place or person to person. They could give you um, victimized stories of their circumstances with family members, relationships, you know, their wives or um, their husbands, um, that they, they're they always going through something, something is wrong. When in fact, after you become um, Close to them, you find that it's really them. They are very um, detached individuals. Um, in most cases, uh, they everything is about them is self-centered, um, and it puts you in the idea of the narcissist because narcissism is in the cluster with histrionic disorder. Um, the narcissistic behavior um, actually it lures you in and. It makes you think that you have some valuable uh, ground with them when in fact you don't. These people are only seeking to get what they want from you. It's like a user's mentality. And you know, the sad thing about it is, is that um, I believe that some people don't know what's going on with them. And so, you know, a lot of times when I say I'm doing a relationship class, people will opt to say that they, they don't wanna be a part of it. We're not just learning about how to have a healthy relationship with other people. We're learning how to have it first with ourselves. And so what that means is, is that you can learn, but then we, we, we also you know find that people actually don't wanna learn. They actually are on that carousel of life where they still wanna experience the same hurt and pain that they've been through until they just get that ultimate plummet that says, you know, I got to do something different. So attention seekers or attention whores, when I put the picture up, I said, you know, I bet they're going to think it's something about kids. And um, again, um, it's about us. And I mean, when you look at this here, you can look at a child that was ADHD. And, you know, if you don't um, get the proper care and help for a child that's hyperactive, this attention seeking will come up in them as an adult um, because um, children with hyperactive disorders require a lot of attention. And so what that means is, is that you're going to show them how to not be the full attention of everything, you know, because it becomes distracting and um you lose relationships. And I mean, here it is at an early age, you'll find that a child can lose relationships because of this and parents are losing relationships because they don't understand their children. Um, and friendships don't understand. And so there's a breakup there. Well, sometimes here we can look at the children with hyperactive disorders because hyperactivity is in, um, the person that is attention seeker, the narcissist, um, the person with um, histrionic disorder, uh, personality disorder, 
um, there can be a high level of energy because they're always moving around. It's in the mind that they can't get settled and um, at peace. So Wednesday, the 17th at four o'clock Mountain Central, uh, six o'clock Eastern, five o'clock Central PM, three o'clock Pacific, I will be doing the second part of my class on relationships using my book, Dance With Your Partner, Not Their Confusion. And you are welcome to come. You can cash at me at um, dollar sign IFW Builders uh, or email me at IFW Builders at gmail.com. Uh, you can also go to my YouTube page and ask questions. You can also go on Instagram at um, inner wealth faith builders. Um, I mean, inner weight, inner wealth, oops, excuse me, inner wealth builders. And so the class gives more information on self acknowledgement, how to redesign your own spiritual walk and your um, consciousness, your confidence, your self esteem, and also how to identify when you're in a relationship that needs to be upgraded. And that's not to say that you leave the person, but start identifying that these people are not just, you know, jerks or whatever. They have problems and you got to, you know, look at that, have compassion, not compassion where you allow them to continuously, you know, put you in a negative place, but have compassion for yourself to grow and take another stand. The other thing that I want to mention is the coaching aspect to this here is where, you know, you've, you've been through relationships like this here. We have therapists and we have coaches. And so, you know, I can connect you with therapists, but my um, field is coaching. Um, coaching to be able to help you to understand exactly what I am explaining about attention um, whores or attention seekers, um, someone that you've been in relationship with that was a narcissist, rebuilding yourself. Um, and if it's very extreme that you've, um, you know, been hurt, then referring you to a therapist, looking at all um, the areas that would help you to take your life and your power back so that you can grow. And I explained in the transformation um, coaching video last week, what transformation coaching does. And so this is something because a lot of times people don't realize that they're in relationships, work, family, um, intimacy, um, because they are, they are learning something. And so you, you, you find out what you're learning there, take that information and keep moving. Don't get stuck. That's where transformation um, happens um, to get stuck for you. If you take the information you learn from the person, oh, they hurt me um, and the feelings, you know, don't feel so well. What do I do next? Well, I transform it and I say, well, how do I not do this again? Right. And that's where transformation comes in. How do I not do it again? How do I not allow myself to get in a relationship that's going to cause pain like this? So it's all on you or me to find out why I was there, what could I do to change it, and what I learned from it. Now, a lot of people will look at um, how they can change themselves to appease the individual that is an attention whore or having narcissistic traits or histrionic disorders um, or personality disorders. There's nothing you can do to make the relationship better because these people are in relationship with their self. And that means that if you read about narcissists, he looked in the mirror like um, the Wicked Witch with Snow White. And all he seen was that he was the fairest. All right. So again, my class is Wednesday the 17th. Join us, you know, get in. The videos or the audios will be $10. Um, you can purchase those if you can't make it. And so we welcome you. And also, Get in on the coaching packages. They'll be at um, in the description. Thanks for listening and thanks for healthy living, healthy thinking, healthy consciousness. Bless you.